Good morning from Brenham, Texas. We had a great time with Josh and Marie last night in uh, Tomball, Texas. And then we decided to log a few more miles and pulled into Brenham. And the funny thing is, is that when we were in New Orleans, the news just kept talking about Bluebell ice cream and they're reintroducing or relaunching the products into the Louisiana and New Orleans area. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, I've heard of Bluebell before, but we really don't follow the news much. But I guess earlier in 2015, Bluebell had, we'll just say issues. But when we were at dinner with Josh and Marie and we told them we were coming to Brenham, they said, oh, the Bluebell plant is there. So I was like, okay, let's go check this out. Unfortunately, they are not doing tours right now. I think they, the reporting said they're not doing tours for two weeks right now. I'm not sure if that's for the holiday season or what. But the store and gift shop is open, so we're gonna go check it out. This and last one's gonna be kind of fun. And we're both really excited about this one. Astronaut food. So Ben remembers getting astronaut food at the San Diego Air and Space Museum, and I remember getting astronaut food at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. So we decided to get astronaut ice cream. Yeah. That's it. And now we're having ice cream for breakfast. I got Dutch chocolate, cookies and cream, and butter pecan over there for Steve. We weren't able to finish all our ice cream, but we are now back on the road heading towards Austin. And one thing that we really have on the list to do in Austin is to have some really good authentic barbecue. That's something we haven't had yet in the South, and you can't go through Texas without having some Texas barbecue. Right now, we're just heading down the highway. We need to uh, stop and get some fuel pretty soon. We're at about an eighth of a tank and a little lower than I like to go, but it just kind of happened that way. I'm not too worried about running out. We have a town eight miles ahead of us and uh, five gallons in the ATV. But we've been in and out of this fog and it seems to be slowly lifting. Okay, the tank is full and we took 65 gallons, so that means we only had 10 gallons left when we're at about an eighth of a tank on my gauge, which is kind of good to know that if I get to an eighth, I have about 70 to 80 miles of range left. But I've never really tested the threshold for the uh, lower end of the fuel gauge, nor do I really plan to further than what we just did. We've pulled over at a post office to mail some stuff back to Alaska. Uh, we did overpack on a few things on this trip and they're just occupying space that can be used for other things. So we picked up a box at Walmart and we're going to uh, send some stuff back home the uh, slow cheap route and unfortunately when you're sending stuff the slow cheap route to Alaska, sometimes it takes two months for it to get there. So there is literally a very realistic chance that we might beat this box home in three and a half months. Let's see what happens. Well, the Garmin RV LMT 760 continues to disappoint us. Uh, it's impossible to look things up in this thing and when you do 
Turn left it doesn't always even I'm send you to the right spot. Like I couldn't even look up this RV park in Austin when we were in the Brenham area. It just would not come up. So I ended up typing in the physical address and it dumped me off on the freeway somewhere. So seriously guys, I don't know if any of them are better or worse, but this Garmin RV760 LMT is a big disappointment. Do you guys think it's possible for me to send Garmin a bill for all the fuel I've burned because of the wrong turns that this stupid machine makes me take? I'm, yeah, it's not a ton, but I can guarantee this thing has made us drive at least, and in the big picture it's not much, but it's enough to really frustrate a person, probably 30 miles worth of wrong turns over our trip. And it is just so frustrating because the software really leaves a lot to be desired and the searching system is just not intuitive enough. So I would not recommend the Garmin. Hey guys, it's our last night with Steve before he heads back to Kansas and we decided to get some barbecue here in Austin. We're at Chief's Barbecue Grill. Looking pretty good so far. We've got kind of a combo platter or family pack of food. So we're all digging in here catch up with you later. We are back at the motorhome and just gonna hang out and have a quiet evening. We appreciate you joining us today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. We'd love to hear from you and enjoy the ride.